Hello friends. In this video, we are once again look at the delayed execution and set interval function. Using the set interval function, we are going to animate H1 tag with uh, different colors. So let's use a JavaScript animation using a set interval. We already looked at set interval, right? So the set interval takes a two parameter. First one is an expression or a function call. And second one tells uh, uh, the interval in terms of uh, milliseconds. So when the millisecond elapses, it will call the first parameter, whether it is a function or a expression. So we can use that to do animation in uh, JavaScript. So here in this video, we are going to animate the H1 tag with a, uh, with a different colors by making use of the set interval. In this tutorial, you will see how to use a set interval, how to use RGB color function and set interval function, how to change the H1 style for color. So here we are going to change the H1 style color repeatedly by making use of the set interval. So that will show you that the H1 tag is animating and it is changing the color uh, uh, in an animated way. So let us look at the example here. Um, we have a head and in the head uh, we are having javascript uh, submit and reset from our uh, previous example we forgot to change that all right so in the body we have a h1 uh, tag and that says uh, animation using a set interval so here we gave id as a heading because uh, heading one but because this is the id we will use inside our uh, javascript function and using the set interval we will animate this uh, h1 tag then here we have an input button and that button caption says you tick to animate when you click the button it will make a call to animate button because we hooked that animate uh, function with uh, on click event next we have one more input button and that stays uh, that says stop so on click we make a call to stop a javascript function so here in the head element we opened our javascript from the next slide onwards we will write our javascript code inside this script tag so here is our javascript tag First, we declared four variables. One is animate timer. So you know why we are declaring this variable. Uh, in the previous example, we saw that we will use a set interval. We will collect that inside a variable. Then we will use that variable to call clear interval and we will pass uh, the variable as a parameter. So this is how you can start a timer and you can stop that same timer at a later point in time. Here is our animate function and this animate function is calling set interval java script function and that function takes two parameter the first parameter is animate h1 that means we are making call to one more function animate h1 the animate h1 function will take the responsibility of animating the tag h1 and milliseconds we specified 10 milliseconds that means uh, we know that a thousand millisecond is one second. That means in one second, this will be called hundred times. This will be called in the sense this uh, animate h1 function will be called hundred times in one second. In one second, we are we are trying to call this animate h1 hundred times. But in reality, we may not know how quick that function will get executed but we are asking the javascript set interval to call that animate h1 100 times in a second 
next we have our animate h1 function here if you see the very first statement we are using a kit element by id then we are passing heading one so that's the id we gave in our previous slide for the element uh, h1 so now we are retrieving that element and we are storing that as a h1 element in a separate variable then for h1 element we are accessing its style then we are making call to color and for this color you can supply red blue green those uh, string variables or you can uh, actually make a call to the get rgb function uh, by supplying the red green blue component values so for example you can call like rgb of 100 50 50 and you can assign that to color that means h1 dot style dot color you can assign like this rgb of 100 comma 50 comma 50 so but here in the above we are making use of a get rgb why because it requires a string uh, function so within uh, double quotes you can say rgb of 100 comma 50 comma 50 to get a color value so the get rgb will form this uh, function for you in a string form and we will assign that to the color attribute style dot color now let us look at the get rgb before that let us see how rgb works in paintbrush so here is the paintbrush let me choose edit colors here what you are seeing is the red green blue component value so if i click somewhere here say for example let me click the red palette and it will show the red component value is zero green component value is zero and blue component value is 255 so here what we are going to do we are going to uh, increase red or uh, blue color or green so let me take uh, blue color in our javascript we will uh, use this uh, blue color and we are going to increase the intensity from black to high blue then we will reduce the intensity so that it will go as light blue and approaches white then the animation once again circulates from black so look at this uh, color solid what we are going to do from black it will animate like this that comes to black and it will animate like this so this is what we are going to do and we know that our uh, uh, animate h1 will be called 100 times in a second so in each call we are going to change our red green blue value so let's say we are at uh, uh, black so the time uh, everything is zero now i will slowly increase you just watch this so this will be useful to make the animation first it will increase only the blue color meantime you watch here also the blue increases and you will see the bright blue when uh, the blue component reaches at 255 right so from black to blue we are reaching and blue component reaches a 255 after that the blue will reduce or it will shade away and if you look at the color component blue stays at 255 red and green increases from so this is the bright blue 255 with high intensity blue color if I reduce that blue color what happens red and green component slowly increases uniformly to its high intensity and if you see now we are applying whiteness here in the blue so the blue goes light blue and in the meantime you can see the red and green component is increasing in its intensity and blue color is shading out and when all reaches a 255 you will see a white color 
so this is the theory behind it we are going to do our animation just like this so what we will do first we will increase our blue component from 0 to 255 once it reaches 255 then we will stay at 255 for blue then we will slowly increase red and green to 50 uh, to its uh, high intensity so the net effect is the blue color will shade out to white so this is the animation we are going to do all right by this time you have an idea of uh, how we are going to use the red green blue component here our member variables are there right blue red green and animate h1 we hooked it to set interval and we know that it will get called repeatedly for every 10 milliseconds inside animate h1 we are setting the style attribute of h1 element and in each function call we are going to make a call to get rgb there we will change this red green blue component and we will assign a new color to our uh, h1 element now let us go to get rgb so here we are writing the get rgb so first if you see uh, the style attribute what we need to pass we need to pass a string rgb of a three integer value if we go back to our previous slide if you see the bottom one rgb of 50 100 comma 50 comma 50 so that's how we have to assign a style dot color so we will pass this in a double quote h1 dot style dot color equal to within double quotes rgb of 100 comma 50 comma 50 so what we are saying here is we are asking the javascript to pick a color from red green blue component red with the intensity 100 blue with the intensity sorry green with the intensity uh, 50 and blue with the intensity 50 rgb right the first one is r 100 second one is uh, g green 50 the third one is b blue 50 so this is what we are going to form here and if you see the return value is rgb that's the string then we are appending that with the red component value so initially it is a zero we saw that in the previous slide we uh, we initialized the component to zero so for the first time when this git rgb is called we, uh, we will return rgb of uh, zero zero and blue will have a, a value of one so here if you see each time we will increment the blue value because first we want to increment the blue from its base 0 to 255 so the animation will be like from black color to high intensity blue when blue reaches 255 you know what happens but we already looked at that in a pen brush so once blue reaches 255 then we will stay at 255 for blue component so that's why we are using the else part here when this get rgb is called uh, 100 time in a second each time we will uh, come at else and we will increment blue once blue reaches 255 we go to the if part so in the if part what we do we increase the red and green component so once red and green component also reaches 255 we will reset our red green blue component to zero so this will keep on animating from black to high intensity blue then the blue color shade out uh, it uh, uh, shade out to high intensity blue to the whiteness like light blue then even further reducing the blueness in the uh, animation finally we will end up into white color then the animation resets to uh, rgb zero then we once again start our uh, loop from uh, black to high intensity blue high intensity blue to whiteness then black high intensity blue blue to white so likewise our animation will continue all right so that's what our uh, get rgb is doing 
and there is a function called stop and we use that to clear our uh, timer interval so we already saw that uh, we created a timer and we stored that in animate timer so in the stop button click we are clearing that uh, timer now it's a demo time so whatever uh, whatever you saw in the uh, powerpoint slide that's created here inside a html uh, javascript demo.html so we already looked at the input there is one uh, so this is the tag we are going to animate and the id is heading one then we have a input and on click we are making call to animate and uh, uh, there is one more input button and we make call to stop here the label is click to animate and click to stop all right so here is our javascript so we defined some global variables for our javascript that means all these variables are accessible by all these three function we initialized the red green blue to zero this is our animate timer and if you see the animate button when you click the button it will call animate and here we are creating our timer so this we already saw animate timer and this animate timer we are using it in the stop to make a call to clear interval that means it will stop the timer so here we are starting the timer and here in the stop we are stopping the timer then in the set interval we make a call to animate h1 inside animate h1 if you see here we are accessing our uh, uh, h1 tag here we are accessing our h1 tag by its id heading one h1 element then we are accessing its style attribute style dot color then here it will be like this rgb of so this is how we can supply our red green blue component input to this style attribute so it should be in a string right so that's why we are we have written our uh, custom function to form that uh, string so here is a get rgb our ultimate goal is to return something like this in string format so this is a string red component comma green component comma blue component then we are uh, closing the parentheses all right so this one we already saw first we increment it blue to 255 once blue reaches 255 then we keep a blue in a 255 then we will increment red and green and once red and green reaches it's a 255 then we reset it to red green blue equal to zero this is where we started right but this set interval will keep on calling the animate h1 so even though it resets the cycle continues and blue increments from 0 to 255 then red and green increments to uh, uh, 0 to 255 then the uh, animation continues like this until you stop it by clicking the stop button all right now we will execute this remember once we click this button then only the animation st starts this is our h1 tag so here you can see how it is changing the color once i click it let's wait for one more cycle all right now i will try to stop it when it reaches the high intensity of blue and if you see the animation is stopped now i hope you enjoyed this video uh, thank you for uh, watching bye